Hi, I'm Heidi Mobley. I have the awesome opportunity of being the field rep for the Matsu region. As a homeschool mom of three, I share in your excitement for our upcoming IDEA virtual curriculum fair. I'm here today to share with you how to use the Whova app during our fair. Stay tuned. All right, let's get started by opening up the Whova app. When you open it up, it'll take you to the home page. You can tell where you are at all times by looking at the bottom bar and seeing what's highlighted in blue. Right now, home is highlighted, so you know that's where you're at. There are several additional resources on the home page of this app. Today, we're going to look at a few of them. First, let's click on Exhibitors. This is an excellent resource for you to see all of the exhibitors coming to our fair. Click on All Exhibitors or click on a category to scroll through and find a specific exhibitor to learn more about their company, watch videos, learn all about their fair specials, or contact their booth staff. Back on the home page, let's look at the passport section. We're going to have some fantastic giveaways during the fair, so you're definitely going to want to spend some time familiarizing yourself with this area of the app. Stay tuned for details on the giveaways. Next, from the home page, let's click on Agenda on the bottom bar next to the Home button. This is what we've all been waiting for. When you open up the agenda, you'll see the full week view. As you know, the fair is running Monday, April 19th through Saturday, April 24th with an additional week available for ordering. Click on each individual day to see the daily workshop schedule. You can click on a workshop to get all the details, write yourself a note about the workshop, send a message to the presenter, and add it to your personalized agenda. Click on the My Agenda to view the schedule that you've created by adding workshops to your schedule. It's super easy to add or delete workshops from your agenda. Let's click on Attendees. This is a great place to see profiles for all of the exhibitors and those who are attending the fair if they set up a profile. You can easily click through the profiles to connect with others. Now let's look at the community section of the app. This is a really cool area with several components. The first two relate to IDEA as the organizer of the event. Click on the organizer announcements to view messages from IDEA or click on ask organizer anything to send a message to IDEA. The next tab, meetups and virtual meets, is a really fun area where you can suggest to meet with like-minded people. Think parents of high school students in Eagle River or moms of kindergartners in Kenai. I'd suggest spending some time in this area of the app if you're interested in making some homeschool connections. Lastly, the messages section is an area where you can send and receive messages to anyone in IDEA, exhibitors, and to other families attending the fair. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you'd like more information, visit the Whova guides on the homepage of the Whova app. See you at the fair.